Did you know that one cent could be costing you the sale of your home? We're gonna explore that crazy notion that has actually affected many sellers over the years and get to the bottom of it. Welcome back to the channel where we love Georgia, Atlanta, and the people and places that make this place so special. I'm Stephanie, I'm with the Cole team. I've lived north of Atlanta for over 20 years now, and I've seen so many different things happen in the real estate market, as you can imagine. But one of the most interesting comes down to price. Have you ever walked into a store like Target and noticed everything is priced at 99 cents versus rounded up to the even dollar? It's a strategy called psychological pricing. To most consumers, an item priced for $4.99, well, that's a lot more attractive than an item priced for $5, even though it's just a cent difference. The brain processes the $4.99 as a much better value than the $5. A similar strategy has been used in the real estate industry for decades. Why price a home at $500,000 when you could price it at a much more attractive $499,000 or even $499,000? 999 and potentially generate more interest from buyers. But we're not selling toothpaste here. This pricing strategy, well, it was once considered very effective. In fact, many real estate brokers still suggest that their clients price their homes like this. But in our opinion, it could be a very costly mistake. We have found over and over again that pricing it at the even number, rounding it up is always the best thing to do. If a buyer is looking for a home in a new area, or even for that matter, they live in the area and are looking for a home, they most likely are set up on a home search or they've set one up for themselves on a third-party site. So if they're looking for a home $500,000 to $600,000 and you price your home for $499,000, there is a very good chance they're going to miss your home. If you price it right at $500,000, now think about it. You are probably the most attractive price in that $100,000 swing that a buyer is looking at. And of course, not all buyers are going to have a $100,000 range of pricing that they're looking at, but this still holds true. Say someone was looking for you know, 500 to 550,000 or 500 to 525, just to say, you still wanna be priced right on that even number so you don't miss anybody. Another thing to consider is if you're priced right at 500 and someone say looking from 400 to 500,000, you're gonna reach them too. As we have always said, exposure is everything. Marketing is so important and pricing correctly is the backbone of creating exposure. That's why it's so important that you work with an experienced agent to help you determine the best price for your home in any market. We hope you found this information helpful as you're thinking about possibly selling your home. We are always here if you'd like to grab a cup of coffee and talk about your house or your real estate plans. If you'd like to hear more about this or any other topics, please like and subscribe to our channel. We would be forever grateful so we can keep bringing you great real estate content. As always, if you or someone you care about is thinking about a move to Georgia or in the Atlanta area, we are here for you. 